It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Brewery Goodman Titting. Dunkel's Hefeweiss Beer at 5.2% ABV. There's the look of the label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Oh, look at the smoke. Beer in the glass then. The beer is available from beersofeurope.co.uk. Beers of Europe, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beers from all around the world. Oh, look at that last bit of yeast that just fell into the beer. Look at that. Can you see the bits and pieces floating around? Yes, check the link in the description box for beersofeurope.co.uk fantastic bottle beer shop online so one to two finger white head yes it looks like a dunkel vice nice dark colored vice beer good look at the carbonation rolling up the side of the glass and yes look at that yeast just floating around there it's a slightly hazy beer let's get the aroma It smells like a Dunkel's Vice beer. It's banana and clove and bubblegum with some spice and a little bit of roasted malt, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of chocolate, and it's a little bit jammy in the aroma. It smells very good. Let's dive in. Cheers. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows were an absolutely fantastic beer. Incredibly drinkable. Touch of citrus. Good carbonation. Oh, the, the drinkability on this beer is just immense. Absolutely immense. And it's all down to one thing. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I've drunk a few Dunkel Weiss beers tonight and one regular Weiss beer. And this is by far the most kind of yeasty beer that we've reviewed on the channel. There's a lot of yeast floating around in this beer. But that's not necessarily a bad thing with a Dunkel's Weiss beer or a Weiss beer because all of the flavour or most of the flavour comes from the yeast. So at 5.2% ABV, the other one was 5.5, the other one was 5.7, so this is lower in the ABV. This has got more flavour than probably the two other beers combined. I'm not going to mention them. I don't think it's fair. I'm just going to concentrate on the beer I have in my hand. But it has won some awards. Um, it's won the... Yeah, it's, it's won some German awards for the for the for this Dunkel's Hefeweiss beer. But it's all about the drinkability, good carbonation, and an absolute abundance of flavour. Banana, clove and spice. And it screams at you. That spice screams at you. The flavour screams at you. It's slightly jammy. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What an amazing, amazing beer. The carbonation just pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth. Releases all of that flavour there. 
it's so very impressive. And it's no wonder this, this, this kind of beer style has been around for so long. Vice beers and Dunkel Vice beers stand the test of time. They've been around for hundreds of years. For me, and I've realized something tonight, drinking these Dunkel Vice beers, that we're in 2017, there's a massive craze going on at the moment with these juicy IPAs. But I think in, in certain respects, this is just as juicy. This is just as incredibly drinkable and, and, and incredibly full of flavor but in a different way. I think the advantage this style of beer has over, say, a hoppy, juicy, drinkable IPA is that because this the most of, of the flavors are coming from the yeast, you can bang a bottle in the fridge. And because the flavors are coming from the yeast, it's not gonna be affected by temperature. The malt might be, the hops might be, but that lovely clovey, banana-y flavour will still come through. And I think that's what it kind of maybe wins. The, let, let's pull one beer out from the New England IPA or the Vermont style IPA. Stig Baguette's Amazing Haze. It's an incredible, incredible beer. But would I choose it over this? Even though it's a completely different style? But if you ask me to choose one beer, I don't know is the answer. I don't know which one is better. They are both super juicy in their own leagues in their own respects so it would be a really tough call so maybe comment in the comments box what would you prefer a bottle of stig baguette's amazing haze or maybe one of the best dunkel vice beers in the world comment i'd be really interested to know about this but rating Rating on the Gutman Dunkel's Heft Vice Beer. What a fantastic beer this is. Great lacing on the glass. Great carbonation. Great look to the beer. Exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to rate this. I'm going to give it. A full on Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.